Tesla shares slumped as much as 10% in the session, posting its biggest loss in two years. That's after its chief accounting officer, David Morton, resigned after just one month on the job. Meanwhile, my next guest, short seller Andrew Left, the founder of Citroen Research, has announced he's suing Tesla and its CEO, Elon Musk. Andrew is with me down the line from California. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Firstly, as a short seller on Tesla, you must be pleased with today's price action on the stock. What are your thoughts on David Morton's abrupt resignation? Well, I think uh, I don't want to jump the gun and say anything because there's been many times where I thought it's over over the past few years and there's a Musk has found an ability to pull rabbits out of the hat. So I, I wouldn't look at one particular news item and say, oh, that's it. All right, well, let's talk about the tweet then from the 7th of August. Obviously, he tweeted that he's taking the company private at 420 bucks, funding secured. That, of course, caused a major plummet in the shares. Your press release overnight from one of your law firms alleges that Musk released this, tweets, this tweet in order to burn the short sellers. Do you think he had no real intention of taking the company private? I mean, I, I really can't comment on his intentions. I'm sure he would like to uh, if he said that. Uh, I think the lawsuit was more based on was the funding secured uh, and not. Uh, and, you know, and was it a, a real proposition with funding secured? Whether he has intentions to take it private, I mean, I assume he wants to get out of the public scrutiny. And so do you see but existential... The revolves around, the lawsuit revolves around those words, I, I'm pretty sure, funding secured. So do you see existential question marks for the firm? Because do you think the shares could ultimately go to zero? Or where do you see fair value when it comes to tes Tesla's share price? You know, that's a great question. For so long, I would have said, you know, zero. But what made me amazed is uh, when they said 420, people were discussing, well, 420 is expensive, maybe 320 or 280. I'm like, wow. So people, the discussion in the media wasn't zero. And there are people who are own a lot of stock, hundreds of millions of dollars of stock and billions who don't think zero, so I have to respect the other side of that opinion. But I also understand the fact of it's losing a lot of money and it's going to have increased competition. So it, it's a real battleground stock, no doubt. And I see arguments both ways. And are you still t short Tesla shares right now? I'm short. Uh, I'm short small. Uh, just because I, you know, respect the volatility of it and, and the unknown. And, uh, you know, it's honest, I've lost too much money being short the stock over the years uh, to say, okay, you know, let's get in there. And just quickly, final question. Elon Musk was filmed smoking marijuana on a live podcast with comedian Joe Rogan on Thursday evening. Do you think he's unfit to be CEO? And would you still be short Tesla if Elon Musk were replaced? I mean... I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. It's an amazing question. I have to say, would the stock go up or down if he resigned as CEO tomorrow and they put in a seasoned auto executive? Uh, you know, a year ago, you would say the stock would get killed, and now I think the stock would go up. So I think the Elon Musk discount is being put in the stock right now, and it's out there. I mean, you know, it's one thing if I said, hey, there's a, a secret video of Musk smoking pot and drinking whiskey, you might say, oh, when that comes out, the stock will get killed, but it's out. You know, he's mentioned uh, his use of Ambien and red wine and pot, and that's who Elon Musk is. So if you're betting on Musk, you're betting on Musk. You know, I don't obviously think it's appropriate for a CEO to smoke marijuana in the middle of an interview. If he wanted to smoke it at home, that's his business, right? And do you think that there's uh, someone else that could uh, sort of take Tessa in a more positive direction? Is there anyone c who you could possibly suggest? I, I don't know of anyone. I, I don't know of anyone in particular. No. Okay, thank you very much. That was Andrew Left, founder of Citroen Research. I'm Victoria Scholar, and thank you for watching IGTV. Andrew, now we move on. To